Welcome to this short tutorial from Pico Technology. Today we are going to look at segmented memory, mass limit testing and alarms to detect and save a glitch using the PicoScope 2400B with deep memory. I have simply hooked up a signal source to one of the input channels of the 2400B, a signal that has been reported to be intermittent but unconfirmed. You can see the output of these square waves, this is in normal display mode. To investigate a violation, I could scroll through the waveform buffer, but this is not efficient. The traditional way of finding glitches is to use digital display mode. Where you have a red trace, this is a signal happening most often, and the blue trace is happening less frequently, which is the glitch. Armed with this knowledge, I could set up an advanced trigger. One of the disadvantages of this mode is that all the waveforms are laid over each other. If you have more than one fault condition, it would be difficult to see what's happening. There is a better way of doing this, we can move over to our rapid block trigger mode, which can capture up to a million waveforms per second. If I click on here, it has already put a thousand waveforms into the waveform buffer. If I rearm the picoscope and click go, it has already placed another thousand waveforms into the waveform buffer. As before, we could scroll through the waveform buffer. To give us a bit of help, we can use our mask limit testing option, and we can add a mask from the tools menu to set up a mask. What the software will do is scan through all the waveforms in the waveform buffer and highlight the areas where the signal has violated the mask. The waveform buffer tool has an option just to show the mask fails. I can now clear the mask and further investigate my glitch. You can also save these waveforms using the alarms functionality. Now you don't need to watch Picoscope while it's running a mask limit test. It can be programmed to sound an alarm, save a file or even execute a command whenever the signal goes out of specification. In this example, I have saved my glitches to a file where they can be sent on to the customer or client for further investigation.